Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto content. And today we're going to be talking about Ripple XRP. But before we jump into this video, I just want to let you guys know, if you guys want to check out my crypto posters website, you guys can buy one, get one 25% off right now. Uh, currently, we do have XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Hedera Hashgraph, Ethereum, Quant, uh, DAG, or Constellation, Jigstack, Alliance Block, and even Bitcoin. I do plan on uploading a lot more on here, so definitely check it out if you guys haven't already. The links will be down in the description below as well as in the comments. So, with that being said, let's talk about some stuff that has been happening. Now, that first off, we're going to talk about this, right? Because this is interesting to see. We do see that Ripple XRP defendant Brad Garlinghouse files motion to obtain international discovery. Now, isn't this interesting, right? So I actually found this from this tweet. Now, when we do see this, it says Brad Garlinghouse has already filed to have his case dismissed based on fair notice. If that's the case, it doesn't matter who he sold his XRP to then why is he now requesting these records? He knows it won't ever get to the fair notice issue. Settlement is in. And a lot of people have been you know, asking if settlement is in, why go through the trouble to produce these transactions? As others have said today, this info will be used to calculate the settlement amount. Isn't that interesting, right? So could they be settling this SEC case behind closed doors right now? I'm very interested <clears throat> to actually see what comes out of this. I mean, a lot of people have been speculating around this SEC case saying, oh, we're very close to a settlement and so forth. I just think that it's very interesting. A lot of people think that this could actually push the date as well, especially considering the fact that he's filing a request for Binance documents in international challenge. So, I mean, I don't know. Do you think that this is going to push the date further? Do you think that's going to be a settlement very soon? It's very interesting to see because even if we come down here, Mr. Garlinghouse seeks foreign discovery on the basis of his good faith belief that Binance Holdings Limited possesses unique documentations or documents, sorry, and information concerning this case and specifically concerning the process by which transactions in XRP allegedly conducted by Mr. Garlinghouse on foreign digital asset trading platforms were conducted. Um, we also see down here, as the SEC knows, Mr. Garlinghouse's sales of XRP were overwhelmingly made on digital asset platform based or platforms outside of the United States. The discovery that Mr. Garlinghouse seeks will be relevant to demonstrating that the offers and sales that the SEC challenges did not occur in this country and are not subject to the law that the SEC has invoked in this case. Now, isn't that crazy to actually think about? Because we're talking about the fact that um, you know, 357 million XRP tokens were sold. Um, now, even if we go back to even, you know, Jed McCaleb, why isn't Jed McCaleb being, you know, talked about or, you know, being interviewed or discussed at all? Because he's selling, you know, massive amounts as well. Now, obviously, he's not working for Ripple, so it's technically kind of like me or you or anybody kind of selling XRP. But we also know the fact that Jed McCaleb would pretty much be hoping that Ripple wins this lawsuit because if they don't, that means all of his sales were all security sales. Now, the interesting thing about this is the fact that he sold them outside of the United States. So is this whole argument, is this whole case built on absolutely nothing? I mean, it's very interesting to see. Now, we do see here that the request is part of a lawsuit that the SEC filed against Ripple in December, alleging the firm Garlinghouse and co-founder Chris Larson were conducting unregistered sales of XRP. Um, now, obviously, we already talked about Bitcoin and Ethereum. I do think that they're absolutely securities or at one point in time, more securities. Um, I just think that it's absolutely ridiculous that Ethereum hasn't had any sort of scrutinization regarding the overall sales of Ethereum back in 2014, as well as even the selling from, you know, Buterin himself. Uh, he even talked about how he pretty much dumped on the market in 2017 and 2018, which I thought was very funny to see. Now, we also see that Larson filed a motion in June petitioning international authorities to request documents from several non-US based crypto exchanges, including Bitstamp, uh, Huobi, and Upbit. So, I think that this is very interesting. The case will reportedly end the pretrial discovery process on October 15th. So do you think that we're going to need to wait till October 15th? Or do you think that the gears are going to start turning? And do you think that we are going to be seeing a settlement very soon 
regarding this SEC case. I'm very interested to see what you guys think down in the comments below. As you guys already know, I'm anticipating a major change in this overall um, you know, discovery phase. I, I think that we're very close. And, and I say that, you know, with a little bit of intent, you know, saying, hey, I think that we're very close to a settlement from what I am seeing happening uh, regarding this SEC case. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now, I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Now, obviously, we've been talking about, you know, this FUD behind crypto and pretty much, you know, saying, hey, you know, with FUD comes a lot of ideas regarding even the idea of, hey, what's happening in the market? Are we basically going to get a drop or a major pump? Now, a lot of people have been spreading some false rumors regarding uh, Bitcoin. I know that Crypto Whale has been pretty much on that all day long saying, hey, you know, why are the whales basically trying to manipulate this? Is it whales trying to manipulate it or is it bigger names? Who knows? Um, but a lot of stuff has happened with Bitcoin and pretty much, you know, falsified information, you know, even going back to the Amazon stuff. But this says India is still considering banning Bitcoin and other private cryptocurrencies. This is absolutely funny. Um, now, I know a lot of people are going to say, uh, how is this funny, right? But the idea that this is funny is because we always see this type of FUD to come out and then all of a sudden the markets get manipulated and then after the manipulation happens and ends, we get a major move. Um, and I do think that we're pretty much destined to have a major move here very soon. Now we do see here, um, the finance minister actually said, my view on this is that of course this, the Supreme Court had commented on cryptocurrency and while the RBI may take a call on official cryptocurrency but from our side we are very clear that we are not shutting off all options now even this is talking about the e rupee and digital currency we see in the meantime prime minister uh, announced the launch of the e rupee a voucher based digital payment system earlier today the new payment medium um, has nothing to do with blockchain but india's central bank is also working on its own central bank digital currency that will that will leverage the technology and you know what technology they're actually going to be leveraging RippleNet and XRP. I strongly do think that they are. I think that they're going to use the XRP ledger, obviously, and probably build on it. Who knows? That'll be very interesting to see. Um, but I'm very bullish with all this India stuff and even talking about, you know, FUD, right? I love FUD. I think that FUD is the greatest thing. It's almost like a buy alert. Like it, it honestly tells you when to buy. Like absolutely ridiculous to me to be completely honest with you now with this also comes the idea of this what do you see here nba legend charles barkley my advisors don't believe in crypto now i've talked about this multiple times but i try to get as many people into crypto as possible because i do think that crypto is eventually going to be the future currency of pretty much the entire world and you know i see people always tell me oh my financial advisor tells me not to get into uh, crypto they're telling me not to you know buy whatever and it's funny to me that you know these financial advisors who apparently you know give financial advice are telling people not to get into crypto and that they don't believe it or they don't believe in it or that it's just a scam it's whatever it's you know fly by night or it's nothing you know crazy to invest in like isn't it funny that these are actual financial advisors who are trying to give you financial advice and they still don't realize how big crypto is actually going to be? It's just comic. It's comical to me, to be completely honest with you. Now, I do have a few other things to talk about. Now, the last thing here is talking about the price of XRP. Now, we do see here to see what XRP will do next. Let's look at what it has done so far. 11 cents to 75 cents. 600%. 17 cents to a dollar 96, 1000%. Now that is a 400% increase in price. With uptrends becoming stronger, I am thinking the next move will be around 1200% and 1400% with a price between $6 and $8 per XRP. We do see here, Brad just stated in an interview a few days ago that's full steam ahead everywhere but the U.S. They are signing contracts daily, so why aren't we getting a pump? Now, obviously, with that being said, uh, we do see a lot more ODL customers that are signing on, and we do already know that at some point in time, like I said even in my last video, I do think that it's only a matter of time before we do see more of these ODL customers signing on and starting their live pr 
projects and pretty much launching live. And then that's when we'll really see the price of XRP really kind of ramp up. Now, I do believe this. I do think that we could see six to eight dollars on the next major move up. Now, that is once we break a dollar and pretty much go into all time high price discovery as well. Once that happens, I think that we are on the stage for six to eight dollars to even ten dollars uh, very soon. So, with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. If you guys do want more free content, you guys can follow me on Twitter and also join the free Discord down in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out.